Hi there, greetings and welcome to Grow Moringa Farms. I'd love to teach you how to package fresh Moringa microgreens. Let's jump right in. Start with a raised bed of microgreens. These are baby Moringa trees. They're sprouted on a raised bed, really just thrown out like a seed. We just sowed the seeds just like that. We didn't even really stick them in the ground or separate them six inches apart. We just covered an entire raised bed in an entire layer of Moringa seeds. It's been amazing seeing this growth come. This is probably about a thousand Moringa seeds on this one particular mound. We'll go in and just start harvesting some of our greens. Beautiful. Someone asked if they need to if they need to strip the greens from the stems. And for the most part, in this situation, you could. Most certainly you could spend the time in stripping a lot of the greens from these stems. But these stems are very soft. And if you're doing a high production operation where you just need to get ready for the farmer's market and get these in a package. You could either dunk them in baking soda water and wash them and then just have them packaged right then and there. You could rinse them off and get all the dirt off of it. One of the things that's so great about having a fresh product like this is that you can stick it directly in a bag as well. As long as you have a, a sticker on there that says wash before use, you could really just stick your microgreens just like that. And since the, the branches are very soft and brittle, someone will get the point very similar to cilantro or parsley. Sometimes some people eat the stems or not eat the stems. It's okay. You can see here, beautiful microgreen. And you can pack it. Back and pack it. We have it in this bag. I don't really go all the way down so it's very, very tight, but just enough seals it up you've got something like that that can last over a week to two weeks in a refrigerator just like this so as long as you get it just like this as soon as it's harvested and you get that in a, in a bag and you put a sticker on there that says wash before use uh, you have a really really great product moringa microgreen product that you can sell at the farmer's market. And we're even beginning to ship these across the country. We're putting them in boxes with a cooler, like a cooling system. <clears throat> Sometimes we can put a little um, like freezer bag, but also we can line the inside of the box with say like aluminum foil, or even put these in mylar bags to help with the, the heat reduction. So that way when you get them, they're nice and cool and they're fresh and they could be used for up to a week to two weeks, just like this. So this is the fastest way to grow Moringa. This is 30 days, 30 days from seed. And you already have a microgreen product that you can get on the farmer's market table or, pot or potentially sell on the website um, and say, you know, wash before use just like any of the other products that we purchase at the store like strawberries or lettuce or parsley you want to go ahead and wash it sometimes putting too much water in the package so washing it and not letting it dry sufficiently will cause this to go bad faster so sometimes you 
want to make sure that there's not a lot of excess water in the package. And this is the best way to ship or potentially sell your Moringa microgreens face to face at the farmer's market. This goes $5 a bag and you can see we could get several, maybe 50 bags out of this and you could have those all sold. Make a thousand dollars at the farmer's market in one Saturday morning just by having fresh my Moringa microgreens just like this. So quick little tip. Thanks a lot for checking out our little microgreen operation here. Please like this video if you learned something today and subscribe to the Grow Moringa YouTube channel. We're going to continue sharing with you all the, all the little ways that you can make a living and um, make an income from growing Moringa fast, 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 fast. So amazing. Love this. We'll be able to open it up, put this in my soups and salads, and everybody's going to really love seeing these at the farmer's market as well. Uh, they're going to be super surprised. Put Moringa right up there, wash before use, fresh from whatever farm location had the address on there. You know, just using cottage roll industry labeling, uh, and uh, it's a fresh food product. So there's a lot of really great benefits of being able to just sell a fresh food product versus a dried processed product. And we'll talk more about that at the Grow Moringa Collective. And we have daily webinars Monday through Friday. I'm actually going live every day for an hour in the Grow Moringa Collective. So that way you can learn and get some information about the, about the Moringa tree. Essentially, I'm having like a <clears throat> masterclass. It's a Moringa masterclass that you can get in on Every day I'm teaching, I have courses, classes, we have lots of behind the scenes videos that you can actually get caught, caught up on to learn how to, how to have a Moringa operation, a successful Moringa operation yourself. So thanks for watching, I'm Kendrick Henry. Peace, love, prosperous growing. See you soon, ciao.